even the way the uh, the emerging areas are becoming very very important in undergraduate education in the country in engineering in particular i think this program will be uh, shot in the arm for faculty and colleges and universities and aict in particular uh, thank you very much for calling me in once again and all the best for this program thank you dr bangraj how many credits they have to go through some flexibility is there i think it is a fixed number but there's flexibility in terms of credit transfer i think uh, some of the institutes allow credit transfer from nptel uh, but other than that the structure is the same because we're giving the same certificate at the end so the number of credits has been total number of six, six courses six courses out of 40% they can earn from nptel yes. excellent thank you thank you thank you sir uh, now i request our honorable vice chairman professor dr abhay jere sir to guide us honorable chairman professor dg sitaram professor andrew thangraj uh, my colleagues here at aict first i would really like to thank uh, chairman for helping us in conceptualizing this entire initiative and the success which we really got for the first edition was beyond our imagination and so i would like to thank andrew here and the entire committee for doing an exceptional job and now you see that uh, this year we have actually tripled it from 21 to 64 but i would like to share with you one more very interesting development which has internally happened and this is going to further actually increase your burden so honorable chairman has actually constituted a committee under chairmanship of dr anand deshpande to actually revamp the entire ug diploma ug as well as bba bca curriculum for all the streams and the primary reason for revamping is this emergence of uh, or or these new technologies like man machine interaction robotics iot cyber security and this and this committee is going to work on ensuring that these emerging technologies or these emerging areas are integrated across all the streams not just because if you really currently look at uh, these streams these emerging technologies were considered as a vertical as a part of computer science streams but now that is going to change and now all these emerging technologies are going to be horizontal so mechanical engineering will also have ai ml civil engineering also will have ai ml and cyber security and so on so forth. so the entire structure of engineering curriculum is going to get actually disrupted dramatically and when this disruption will happen large number of faculty members need to be trained and the number of faculty members which are going to be required to actually ensure that we achieve the results So because of this disruption is going to be multiple than what you are currently doing so maybe next year when we are actually going for pg certification program we might have to do it in few hundreds to ensure that we actually meet the need uh, of uh, our uh, educational institutions so through this i would like to request you and your entire team to monitor some of the programs which are happening much more meticulously and explore how they can be further scaled up without compromising on the quality of the programs because from a current scale up is good it can be achieved but if you have to do 200 or 300 of such programs i don't know what is the number right now but if that gets further you know scales up to a few hundred then whether we can manage that quantity what should be the metrics which we should use to evaluate that the quality of the program 
doesn't get compromised. So some of these things, if we were, if we require some kind of a platform to actually monitor these programs, we should actually look into that. So this is going to be a very big task moving forward. So, uh, but what you have achieved, your committee has achieved is something very phenomenal. I don't think similar program exists anywhere currently. Uh, so uh, we are, we can say pioneers uh, in this uh, sector. Another program which we are launching is Samarthan Internship uh, Connect. Uh, and it is mostly for the students of JNK, Northeast, uh, and Andaman, Nicobar, and Leh Ladakh people. Uh, so, what I will request students is to go to the institute, certainly, they will have a very packed schedule. But also, what I will request them specifically is to visit the incubators in these institutions and interact with some of the startups which have been hosted there because you will be actually getting into premier institutions and majority of these premier institutions have a very vibrant innovation and entrepreneurial ecosystem. So when you are looking at these internships from an academic angle also, where there will be a lot of lectures and hand, -hold, hand holding sessions and internships and you, you have integrated a lot of uh, uh, even practicals and those kind of things, right? in this uh, in this 15 days period uh, but one component which might be missing is actually interaction with startups and visit to incubation centers so just ensure that that happens uh, so that uh, they will get a completely different kind of a vision when they go back because at the end of the day we want our students from jnk our and our northeast to actually emerge as entrepreneurs you know by solving the problems which are there, you know, and offer solutions. So that's what I feel about the Samarthan internship program. So thanks once again. I actually thank our uh, chairman, sir, for uh, leading this program, championing this, again, new initiative, which we launched last year. So thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for guiding us. Now, now I request Honorable Chairman Sir, Professor T.G. Sitaram Sir, to launch the initiative. One, one more. No, second one. One more, one more is there, right? Ah, come on. So, yeah. no, 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 together. Thank you, sir. Now I request our honorable chairman, sir, to guide us. So, good afternoon, <coughs> Dr. Abhay Jere, vice chairman, Andrew Tangaraj, professor, IIT Madras, and also chairman of this uh, committee on QAPPG certificate, and Dr. Sunil Lutra, and all other officers of AICT, and all the institutions heads who have joined today uh, for both <coughs> launching of both two two of the programs of AICT. One is, uh, I'm very happy to launch AICT QIP PG certification program in emerging areas for basically for core engineering teachers at our institutions with the help of all the premier institutions of the nation. Another program I'm also happy to launch the AICT Samarthan Internship Program, Connect, which is for the students of 
Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh and Northeast uh, students spending some time at our premier institution to understand about research and development, innovation. And uh, I'll take the second one first, Samarthan internship, as Dr. Jabai Jere said, I think he gave an excellent suggestion yes, of definitely. taking the students to the innovation uh, activities and incubators, and also to brief them about some of the innovation activities, yes. you know, how one can become an innovator yes. and an entrepreneur. That's an excellent suggestion. And welcome this uh, complete, uh, you know, scheme on Samarthan internship. So I think we should popularize this among all the engineering, diploma institutions and management institutions in the Northeast as well as Jammu, Kashmir and Ladakh. We have the Andaman Nicobar also. So you will have Lakshadip. Lakshadip go in group. Yes, yes. There is only one engineering college. <laughs> Already Lakshadip. <laughs> So coming back to this QIP PG certification program, I'm very happy, you know, last year we are able to do with 21 institution, 1500 graduates. Yes. So this time 64, I think it's a very good uh, number. I'm very happy. And, uh, and also I think the institution basis have also increased. There are a lot of volunteers. So let me thank all the institutions, including our IITs, NITs, triple ITs, AMs are also there. I am yes. I'm not. I see also thank all of them for taking interest in this uh, specific the CDAC also. Uh, thanking, uh, let me thank profusely because this is uh, not a going to be an easy job because it's not about just giving a course in emerging areas and also accommodation in the campuses, you know, bringing them, you know, it's also a big challenge. So I think uh, logistics are very critical now because that conditions all the institutions have agreed, shown interest. I think first of all, let me first of all congratulate them and also thank them for uh, accepting to offer this program. So this program is very unique because myself, I went to uh, three three places. Actually, we had the interaction with all the teachers who took this course. One was at IIT Kharagpur in a close group where the course was on artificial intelligence. One was at Indian Institute of Science. Where the course was an ML, and the third one was at AICT, where more than 500 uh, teachers attended this event and received the certification. I think the enthusiasm is so much. And I can see, sir, we never wrote in our lifetime a code. So they were so happy. These are all professors, very senior professors of civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and even chemical engineering, okay, and electronics engineering. So now learning courses in emerging areas of IOT, then cybersecurity and all these courses. I think it's a good uh, way that we have also issued, as promised, a certification, uh, not only certification, also issued a letter to the, all the institutions to allow them to teach across disciplinary courses, sitting in the parent department of theirs. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that is worked very well. Now I hope it will three times the number will come. But I think you should also this time popularize the self-financing for from that institution. Yes. So that you have to advertise that. That means IITs can take not just 50, they can take 100 students. Yes. yes. Wherein uh, included, I am very sure, but I, uh, some popularization should be done. Because last time, yes. even our 50 was not taken. 37 only were joined. Okay, so some and also another thing you should do is by chance the second 50 and our uh, uh, these fellowships become vacant, you should actually give somebody who have opted freely from we, them. We ask just naturally move them in the same institution. Very true. Yeah. Okay, for the same course. So that decision also you know itself you have to tell there is no problem. So one line you please make that saying that laterally will move in the same institution, not different institution. For example, IIT Madras has chosen AI. 50 students will be from our side. 50 will be from sponsored. So 50 may, 10 by charge, due to some reason, maybe health reason or something, yes. they could not take. The 10 can be from a yes. non-sponsored in the same. I think this decision we can take today itself and announce that. It's already there. It's already there. 
but laterally transferring it. Cheek, acha, then it's good. If it is already there, then there is no new need of a friend. I anyway welcome every one of you and uh, I'm very happy to see that this is taking a good shape and there we can train large number of uh, people in the emerging areas. And I hope uh, more and more will this kind of a things will happen. And there are several industries are also now coming forward. Sir, we want to train people in AI and ML, the trainers of trainers. So those programs also, I would like you to watch out and apply. And maybe, you know, if there is a clear assessment and number of credits are really clear, then we might even make an announcement on them also. It's not just these programs. Even the industry offered programs, if somebody has taken equal into credit and assessment is done, we should consider that maybe yes. come out with some policy yes. in that also. We are working on some committee for that. Just, so there is already a committee, I've been told, that they are working on this. So welcome. Oh, I hope when is the classes will start? The calendar will start on April 20. Sorry. Today, today we have. May 15th is the last date to apply. Yeah. And the test will be conducted at 25th to 30th. May 31st is the last day for the institute to announce the results. Yes. June 1st, First participant minute. confirm the choice. And the last date of the institute is June 2nd. Start of program is. Participants confirming their joining third. Institute consolidating the final list of participants, fifth. And uh, start of the program on June 16th, June 16th. of 2025. And end by 31st. Uh, yeah, 31st. So it's a phenomenal thing, you know, six months uh, time. For, for this time, we also made portal for EZSS. So this is this time there is a portal so that you, all of you can log in and check your thing anytime. So it will be an online portal. Yes, which is also put up yes. there. Kindly share that. QAPPG first. QAPPG ke liye portal bhi hai. This is JNK. Uh, Ah, so I think all of you can see this, this portal, please, you know, use so that you can keep track of it instead of every time, you know, you're writing to us and to know what is happening. So all the details will be uploaded here. So uh, with this, I thank everyone who have joined today. And we are very happy at ACT to uh, provide another facilitation for teachers as well as students. Thank you. Namaskar. Jai Hind. Now, uh, like, and all our esteemed participants joined in this session. Uh, Honorable Chairman was always there. Uh, Lady Vinay, support us, guide us, and to advise us wherever yeah. she uh, And uh, since these programs are very innovative, we had to many times get faculty uh, from our assignments. And the program we are coming up with is leadership will be launched. Now this program in this creative uh, discipline program uh, uh, under the chairmanship of Dr. Andrews, we would like to thank uh, Andrews sir because the entire curriculum and entire system was developed in one day where we were expecting it to happen in a, in a couple of weeks or something. And last year we run the program on a war front basis only because it was developed in one day and uh, we kept that momentum going. And this year we could have put uh, extend it to 64 other uh, uh, programs. And hopefully we will uh, extend the program to management also completing the 100 uh, programs allotted this year. Uh, thank you, Andrew, sir. And I, thank know, you. I know that I am agreed uh, for this. Uh, for the I think no one I am agreed for this money. They, they want twenty. I am not agreed for this money. They want twenty lakh per week. Teaching every post and the number of people 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 and the
मीटिंग क्लोज करते थैंक यू थैंक यू वन एंड ऑल थैंक यू वन एंड ऑल